Hello, happy Friday, TGIF. I'm so happy it's the weekend. I've been working nonstop this week and I kind of purposely did not accept plans for this weekend so that I could get some more work done but also get a lot done around my house. I'm craving some spring cleaning, I'm craving some organization so I'm just gonna have a weekend of it. And I wish I could document the whole thing in one video but I think that's too ambitious and I also think I know what you're most interested in and that's my mug collection. That's what I'm most interested in. So in this video, I'm going to show you my entire mug collection. I have a lot of Disney mugs, especially, um, that I'm going to hopefully declutter and like maybe donate a couple of them. I don't know if I'll be able to give up any because I love them all so much. And then I'm going to epically reorganize that cabinet and make room for my collection. So let's get straight into it. All right, let's start with the before situation. This is the mug cabinet, and it's currently just a total mess. I'm at risk of a mug toppling out to its death because things are so disorganized. And I really hate when mugs are stacked like that. I don't think it's good for the mugs, and it doesn't look nice because it's all crooked and jumbly. So definitely need to sort through this. This bottom shelf here is our actual <laughs> drinking glasses. And then on the counter, I just went ahead and compiled all the other mugs that need to be addressed today. So these are things that were in the wash that I just washed that need to be put away. Um, some travel mugs, some water bottles, things like that. So I think I'll start by just going through my whole collection and showing you what we've got. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on things other than mugs, but these are like travel water bottles and travel coffee mugs. I love this one, it has a perfect seal. I've even brought tea in my purse to the movies in this thing. It really seals really well. Um, this is to keep cans cold. These are both just kind of like novelty things from Disney. I think this came with a root beer float. And it's supposed to be Andy's boot from Toy Story, or Woody's boot, and it says Andy on the bottom, it's so cute. But I like never drink out of that. <laughs> And then the same thing with this. This is a really cute little mug. It's Olaf, but we never drink out of it. So I'm not too sure what to do with those. And then here are the overflow mugs that I just washed. So this is Nate's. I will go ahead and say up front, he doesn't have a lot of mugs. And that's because he doesn't have my affliction. I am a mug addict. I'm coming out about it in this video. I want you guys to know, like I know I have a problem, but mugs bring me joy. So I have a lot. That said, Nate does not get joy out of mugs, so he doesn't have a lot, but he does have this one, which I think is so cute. His sister got it for him. I mean, I love this mug so much. I love mugs that are shaped like things. He doesn't really like to drink out of it. He likes to use it as a pencil cup, but I just think it's so cute. Then I have several of these Starbucks mugs that are part of that You Are Here series. This is one from Disneyland. Um, a couple years ago, I'd say, and I really loved this because it had pink and blue and cute illustration, blue inside. I think this was the next year's mug at Disneyland. This one was more like pink and purple. Again, just a super cute illustration, purple inside. And then where is this year's? Oh, and then this one is this year's Disneyland mug, and this one's my favorite by far. The illustration is just adorable. I love the pink and blue. It's so good. Baby pink inside, perfection. So this is probably one of my top favorite mugs that I own right now. I just love it. Then I also have this one. It's Marie from Aristocats, and I just really love the quilted pink sides on it. And I like the size and shape of this mug. It's really good for drinking morning coffee out of. Here's another one that's actually Nate's. <laughs> He's not living that rough of a life, you guys. I take good care of him. And this is a mug I got him that is it from Daredevil. And it looks like the attorney's office in that show or in the comic books. So he loves that. Then I have these two kind of comedically large mugs. This one fits about two cups of coffee here for scale. I'll show you how much bigger it is than a normal one. And then this one is crazy. <laughs> it's so much bigger. Then your average mug, these are both from Target. It's actually really heavy. But I just thought it was kind of cute to leave out. Or if I am making several cups of coffee and like sharing with Nate or something, I will use it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of these mugs so we can see the rest of the collection. 
I'm just going to show you the mugs as I take them down. This is one of my favorite mugs and it's so silly that I love this mug so much, but it's a great shape and I appreciate the pink, the red and the pink on it, even though it looks kind of cheap. But they gave me this mug at the place I used to get my eyelash extensions and for some reason I just loved it. I really do love the shape and the size and it's pink inside and it's just, it's just a good mug, even though it's like a silly, you know, marketing mug. I have several Christmas mugs you guys saw in Vlogmas and I don't like to put them away and just take them out of the Christmas season because they honestly bring me joy all year long. I think there's something more cozy about Christmas mugs than any other kind of mugs. So I love them. This one is from Pottery Barn. Looks like a little snowman. It's not the most functional mug and it doesn't hold a lot but I love it. This is a cute set of couples mugs. When you put them together it makes a little heart and it's Lady and the Tramp. Disney sells a few sets of these matching mugs and I just think they're so cute for when Nate and I are having coffee or hot cocoa together. I just can't get enough of these. I got this one in a vlog when Nate and I went back to visit Savannah for my girlfriend's wedding. This was one of the souvenirs I got and I really love this little illustrated map of Savannah. I think it's so cute. It's this nice like diner style mug, like thick, heavy, good diner mug. And so I appreciate the style of it as well, with the like flared base. It's just really cute. Here's some of my probably all-time favorite couples mugs. I love this set. It's so cute. Prince Charming kisses Cinderella's hand. Ugh, it's just adorable. Nate and I love using these, or I guess I should say I love making Nate use these. On the back it says a kiss takes care of anything. I got these on Amazon. This was a set I showed in a recent Target vlog. Mr. Right and Mrs. Always Right. And I think these are cute. I wish they were the same shape and size, but this one's a little travel mug. Does not actually fit very much, but I like the pink lid on it. And then this is a perfect size mug in my opinion. And they both have the logo on both sides, which is cute. Really cute typography on this. I have two more of those Starbucks You Are Here mugs. These are both for California Adventure, which is the other theme park at Disney. And so these are like Nate's mug because because I feel like these tend to be more of a slightly more masculine color scheme and I really like the illustration on these as well. This one's really fun with the bright blue and he likes these and it's also more his favorite park whereas I prefer Disneyland so it's kind of cute when we drink out of these. This mug I adore so much. It's like one of those figural mugs that looks like Cinderella's carriage. Uh, adorable. Got it at Disneyland. I really love it. I don't drink out of it as much as I would like to and I think it's probably just because the shape is a little bit unconventional. So I'm thinking about moving this as like a makeup brush holder. Haven't decided because I do love it. This is another cute shaped mug. I love 101 Dalmatians. I love doggies. This has like a bone on it and he's sticking out from the mug. It's just really cute. Nice like smaller mug for maybe a cup of tea or something like that. It's from the Disney store. This is one of my prized mugs and I had to track it down on eBay because it's like an old Cinderella Disney mug and it's obviously shaped like her castle, has her story written on it. It's just really, really cute. So I tracked it down on eBay. I think you, there are kind of a few floating out there if you wanted one. I think it was a whole series with all the different princesses. Another shaped mug. This one's just simply a pumpkin, also from Pottery Barn. Love this one so much, not just in the fall, I always love it. Shaped mug from Target, it looks like a little stack of donuts and it's so cute because it matches my little coffee holder on the counter. It's very tiny, it's like a kid's mug, doesn't hold much, but I just think it's so precious. One of the first mugs I ever got at Disney, just simple Minnie Mouse, Mickey, with a little pink handle and it's like a good smaller mug. Nate got me this for my most recent birthday, it's got the Cinderella emoji on both sides. Blue inside, blue handle. He actually likes using this mug too, it's cute. This was a gift from a friend on here. So cute, I had been eyeing this at Target. I think you can still find it. It has like metallic lettering, Hello Gorgeous, and it's got the baby pink, and it's just great. Such a good size mug too, and just like so us, right? Like just spot on. This was a little mug set that came in a hot cocoa set from our niece Olivia. We thought this was super, super cute. It's got the Incredibles family on it and the patterns on both sides. So this is really cute for like having hot cocoa together. 
I got this mug in Canada when we went to visit Toronto, and so it was a really cool souvenir. We went out for sushi and they served my green tea in this mug, and I loved it so much I just bought it from them. It has like some good little mottos for life, less alcohol, more tea, stuff like that. And then also written on the other side, it's like a traditional green tea mug with no handle. Just really cute. I just love it. Then I have a set of four of these red Starbucks mugs. They're nothing all that special. They stack nicely, but I just like having them sometimes like if we're having company over and serving coffee after dinner, it looks a little bit nicer to have uniform mugs than to have my hodgepodge mugs. Although most of my friends like kind of enjoy picking their own mug when they come to visit. So I don't know, we just have these four random ones. And Nate does kind of gravitate towards these. I think he likes their shape. So that's just a random little set for those. These are two plastic mugs and they're from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. This one is a cute light pink. It says, your destination is coming soon. It has a little illustration, say yes to adventure. And I honestly, I think from childhood I like little plastic cups and mugs. I wouldn't put anything hot in it because it is plastic. But it's just kind of a cute little juice mug or something. And I don't know, I hoard mugs, so I have it. <laughs> then this one says, a special offer that is featured in an advertisement. And it has like kind of a fake Coke ad on the other side. I honestly don't understand what a lot of the things I get from Daiso mean because the wording is always unfamiliar to me, but I just think it's so cute. And I like how it's kind of that old fashioned clear milky, like as if it were milk glass, but it's plastic. This is a Christmas mug from Target. I, again, I really like the shape. It's a nice big mug. Cute little illustrations and it has little pink trucks and that's what I love about it. And I like how the handle has this little notch so it's like, it gives you something to hold on to. This one's again from Disneyland. Look how cute the heart is on the handle. It's such a nice detail. And it's from It's a Small World. It has all the little characters from that ride. And again, lots of pink, very cute. It's a smaller one so I might use it more for tea or something like that, because I usually like a big cup of coffee. <laughs> this one's from the Disney store, again, Cinderella. It's just a really cute illustration of her. She looks like very young, and then has her signature, and has little rims of gold around it. And I just thought this was a sweet, pretty mug. This one was another gift from a friend, and I love it so much, the pink. The cute little hand-drawn graph is just kind of fun. And then it has that same style handle that I like where you can hold onto the notch. And again, really good size. Here's another Christmas mug. It's got Minnie and Mickey as Santa and Mrs. Claus. And they're on this like old-timey illustration. And it has old-timey font saying good tidings. And it's like a good hot cocoa mug. Like look at all the marshmallow real estate. So this one is really fun at any time of year. I love my Christmas mugs. Here's another one of those plastic souvenir mugs from Disney. It's got the beast on it. it looks kind of like a barrel and then the other side has Gaston. So it's like from his tavern at Disneyland. Really cute. Don't use it much because I don't really know what to do with these plastic cups. Another Disneyland souvenir. It says Dumbo. I love the pink and blue on this. Dumbo is just so cute. And it says, don't just fly, soar. Nice handle. Here's another one of Nate's. This is a really big mug. And it needs a good cleaning, but it holds a ton of tea, and it's got the logo of Batman, obviously. This one is so cool. It was a gift from my friend Nora, and it looks like a black mug, but when you put hot water in it, it shows an illustration from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, and it has a lipstick mark. Some of these I'm going to put aside for like a deep cleaning um, to make sure that I get all the lipstick marks and water marks off of these. But yeah, this mug is really cool. I'll show you what it looks like all heated up. This is a glass mug. It was from Etsy, I believe. And this used to be like gold foil font, but now it just kind of almost looks black, but it says good morning. And I love me a good glass mug as well. I think it's kind of fun to see your coffee inside. These are just some plastic Christmas drinking cups. And these are some milkshake glasses from Hot Topic that are themed on the show Riverdale. So I just thought these were really cute for the like one time a year that we have milkshakes at home. More Christmas mugs. This is my little reindeer mug. I freaking love 
how borderline creepy it looks. It's just so cute from Pottery Barn. This is my favorite Santa mug. I feel like a lot of Santa mugs aren't cute, but this one is cute. I love his pink cheeks. Also from Pottery Barn. Also, I love his eyelashes. Like, they are on fleek. No Disney mug collection is complete without a chip mug. I actually have two. One is in my Disney display case, and that was a gift, and I really love it. And then this one is just kind of a smaller drinking sized one. Very cute. This is from like a little Hello Kitty pop-up food truck sort of thing that goes around LA and it's just really cute. It has all Hello Kitty stuff. Ooh, it's got coffee marks in it. And I don't use this mug as much. So, oh, it's so cute though, I don't know. Here's another Hello Kitty mug. I love the shape of this one. It's like the rounded. I just think those kinds are cozy for tea and it says Hello Kitty. And I got this one as a gift from one of my YouTube friends, which I love. It says live, love, and rescue dogs. So, so accurate. It has a little bone inside and it's so cute and pink. And I like this around the bottom too. It's really pretty. Then I have a set of two tin mugs, I think, or like enamel, what would you call this? It's like a camping mug. And they are from Sephora from Christmas time. And so that's just a really cute little set, a very cozy camping Christmassy set. The last thing in here is this light up Beauty and the Beast water cup that I got at Disneyland. I love it, I love the shape of it, it's so adorable. It doesn't light up anymore, but I still love it. And then here is that mug that was black. I heated it up with some water and now it's this beautiful illustration by Thomas Kincaid of the Beauty and the Beast. Well, I think all the characters are in there somewhere. I actually did a puzzle of this illustration too, I really love it. And now I'm gonna have some tea since I have this hot water. Thanks, Nora. So this is a situation now that I have all of my mugs out and I can start to realize just the extent of my addiction. But I have the cabinets cleared and I talked to Nate into letting me use that bottom shelf for more mugs so I can have them better distributed. And then I'm going to make this cabinet over here for drinking glasses. It's currently all like alcohol glasses, but as I shared, we haven't been drinking alcohol. And so I think I can kind of consolidate our alcohol glasses a bit more because they aren't getting used like at all. Except I like to have kombucha out of a beer glass sometimes. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. Sometimes I'll drink out of a wine glass, like sparkling water just for fun. But that's gonna get consolidated and we'll see where everything winds up. All right, everything is out of this cabinet and I just wiped it all down. So now it's time to start figuring out how to organize these better. All right, I have a test cabinet done because I wanted to kind of test out my theory of how to organize the mugs. So I wanted to start like a tiered system so I could see them all at a glance, nothing is stacked on itself. And doesn't that just look so much better already? I'm really happy. When I was planning out this organization project like a week ago, I saw there are tons of like really expensive, like nice acrylic clear tier organizers you can get. But if you see my other organizing videos, you know I try not to spend money on organizing projects because it just gets out of hand so fast. And I really want to stick to like stuff I already owned or stuff I could get for cheap. So what I wound up doing was I had a bunch of these or little organizer trays left over from a previous dollar store organizing project. So I took two and you can get these fancy ones that like expand to the shape of your cabinet but I cut the end off of one and like, voila, it expands. Then for this back row, I got some boxes off of Amazon. Like I did the measurements for what my cabinet could fit and I found boxes that were like, I think it was 12 inches by four inches tall. So that makes for the perfect back row. This makes for the perfect second row. And then I have the front row. And I have an idea in mind to see how I can make it like more aesthetically pleasing because you know, girls gotta keep her kitchen cute. So to make this hodgepodge of supplies look uniform, enter gift wrap in my preferred kitchen Tiffany blue color that I like to use. I, it was kind of funny when I was brainstorming this, I was trying to figure out how many rolls of gift wrap I would need. So I was doing all these complicated math equations with like the calculating the area of the boxes I wanted to wrap and how many square feet are in this roll. And I had to like consult my niece who's a math whiz and uh, long story short, I hope I got enough because then after that I decided to use the second tier of rows. So we'll see how far this wrapping paper goes. I hope I have enough. That was fun. It feels like Christmas. 
I love wrapping gifts. These were a little tricky because these have like rounded edges, those blue containers. So they don't look great, but you know, they'll be hidden by mugs. And then these obviously wrapped up nicely because it's just a plain box. And I have plenty of paper. I did not need to do all that math. It's just, I'm used to those like cheapo Target wrapping papers where you do like two Christmas gifts and it's over. <laughs> this I actually got on Amazon because I want to get the exact color for my kitchen. And it's a nice quality paper with tons of stuff on the roll. So I will link these boxes and this wrapping paper in case you happen to need it. But otherwise, this is all stuff I already had in my house. The tiers are in place. Overall, I think it looks really good. Like that's the same color as my coffee pot, my teapot, and I love that color for the kitchen. I mean, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, why didn't I cut this and make this all, oh geez, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Oh, that could have been all one row because that method I did where I made it extendable. Whoops. Oh man, I really want to redo this now. Should I redo that? <sighs> I think I'm going to redo that. Okay. <laughs> that looks much nicer. I don't know why I didn't think of that the first time. So now I have my tiers set up and I'm just going to start organizing seeing how many mugs even fit with this system it's really kind of hard to judge so i'm just gonna play around with it okay i think we need like a little bit of a reveal because i'm very happy with how this turned out so far isn't that a million times better than it was at the beginning of this video wow so in the front is actually or in the bottom is the only place i wound up doing three whole rows probably should have planned that out better but i have perfect assortment of mugs that fit on all three rows. Then I have two rows. I have the You Are Here mugs, which by the way, <laughs> I know this video shouldn't make me realize I need another one, but I need another one to have three of each park. <laughs> and then I have our couples type mugs there. And then the top is like Christmas row, Christmas mugs on the way back. And then some of the like fun shaped mugs. So this is such a good way I feel like to show my collection, but also still have it be functional because obviously the whole point of this is that I drink coffee and tea all day and I love to have my mugs so I'm feeling really good about it like I don't know does it still look like a cluttered mess it might but I at least feel like it's not so haphazard and they're not gonna be like toppling over and everything like that so I only decided to donate one mug which was this that I had two of these Sephora mugs so I probably should have pared it down more, but I didn't think I needed two of these exact same ones. And then these, I think I might just kind of put these in storage because like I said, we don't usually use the set of all four of these. This one is so big, it would take up half my cabinet. So it's gonna live on the coffee pot. And now I just need to kind of figure out where to put everything else. All right, the kitchen is cleaned up, the cabinets are organized feeling pretty happy with my little project. So I found a couple mugs that I had not put away the first time. So I rearranged a little bit, but it all fits. And I know this isn't like an efficient use of cabinet space, but I just love that I can see every mug in my collection. I can easily grab exactly the right mug for whatever cozy drink I'm having. And just all these mugs are special to me and they make me happy and it's my one thing that I hoard, so that is that cabinet. Hopefully, we'll see what the husband says. Like, cue all the comments about how Nate is such a good sport. Hopefully he's truly okay, because he said I could do this. I hope he's okay with the fact I moved our drinking glasses down to here. And I kept like a small assortment of alcohol glasses that we still use, even if not for alcohol. And I packed up the rest of our like mixers and shot glasses and stuff with the party supplies. So we'll just bring this out when we're entertaining. Honestly, the majority of what we drink at home is coffee and tea. So I don't know, does that justify my addiction? Then you might recall, I had a lot of travel mugs that were out. I wound up giving those at home here with the Tupperware, which somewhat makes sense to me because it's all like to go sort of. So this shelf right here has water glasses, or you know, like to-go water cups, to-go coffee cups, to-go coffee cups, paper coffee cups, and those little collectible Disney mugs that I really didn't know what to do with. I'll have to try to start using those a little bit more just around the house. 
And I feel like that was easy to combine my Tupperware into two shelves, so it's nice and organized. I hate when you can't find like the lid. I don't play around with my Tupperware, like I keep it pretty tidy. And that leaves room for my extra mugs, my extra to-go cups. So I'm feeling good about this project. I also just streamlined my little coffee corner a little bit better. I have my comedically giant mug just permanently resting on the Keurig and I think that's really cute because it says home sweet home and it matches. And then I've got my coffee pods in this thing. This is from World Market and it's honestly one of my favorite possessions. I just think it's adorable. And then this is another favorite from my sweet friend Anat and it's like the cutest little thing. I used to keep loose leaf tea in it, but now I'm keeping my protein, my collagen powder that I add to my coffee in the morning. So that's really convenient. And it's just a perfect little combo with my happy blissful mugs. So <laughs> very exciting. My favorite person in the whole world just got home. Hello. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Me and too, I told him you. he couldn't open the cabinet unless I filmed it. Okay. So let's open the cabinet. I made a big deal okay. about it. I'm not ready. Oh my gosh. I got him up this moment. Uh, do okay, it. this one? Sure. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the clue to what I have It's pretty nice, huh? What are you doing? Ooh. All right? Charming. You like it? Yeah. It's not too much? I mean, what is? <laughs> <laughs> so I love the Batman by Batman. Right? There's a little Batman section. Daredevil. Maybe I should have a Daredevil up there. Yeah, why is it? It's girl and boy combined here. I know. I but really the truth is you shelf. only have three yeah, marks, like honey. Three marks, yeah. There's going to be 1,000 comments about how you're such a good sport because you put up with my mug collection. <laughs> yeah. Listen, for all of you who are gonna say he's such a saint, which he is, but also keep in mind, we have a glass case of <laughs> Batman in our living room, sure. and I got him this, and it's a whole Wait, thing. It's not lit up, you gotta show him the hole. Oh, and I installed the lighting for him. Uh oh, the battery's dead? <laughs> sure. All right, well, I'll get it. they've seen it before. So, point is, yes, he's a saint, but he doesn't have it that bad, you guys. <laughs> Look at well, this is only proper. This toy case in the living room. We are children and that's what, what I love about us. That's it. He needs to relax. Maybe I'll make him a cup of tea in one of our mugs. Nice. That'd be good. But you like it? You're proud of me? Yes. That looks beautiful. Thank you. And I, I like to see them all displayed like that. But what is this now? You're not in it. What are you doing? Come in here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you have organized the mugs and now we are mugging for the camera. That's what I was trying to say. I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be easy. Oh, boy.